<laughs> hey guys, my name is Mark Taliamani. I recently graduated from the University of Michigan and I've been swimming professionally for the past three years. I'm originally from Tokyo, Japan. I've been swimming for 17 years now and super stoked to be here in Canem Natatorium. When I, uh, when I was three years old, I was in the ocean and my grandpa was supposed to be supervising me and I was in a float and I was so skinny that I fell right through the tube. My parents put me in swimming classes and I hated it starting out. I used to run around the deck for 45 minutes screaming and the instructor had to like carry me for the entire lesson. And the f last five minutes of class, she would dip my toes in the water and I would love it. So little by little, I got used to swimming and eventually I got to a point where I really liked it, really liked competing against my friends and I raced in my first meet when I was seven. Growing up in Tokyo, Japan was Awesome. Well, my mom's from Japan and my dad is from Yemen. So I've had three nationalities. Having traveled to a lot of places, having lived in both Tokyo and the US, I think I'm someone who just kind of like blends into wherever community that I end up in. Um, I think you can find really good people anywhere. Every single one of my, my teammates that I've had over the years are my brothers. And we have such a tight bond because, you know, you spend 25 hours and more a week with them. You know, anytime we're not in the pool, we're probably hanging out either in class together or eating in the dining hall together or hanging out, doing bonfires, that sort of stuff. I've spent way more time with my teammates than I have with my parents in the past seven years. As a result, they are my family. I initially thought that I was gonna be done with swimming in 2020 and after COVID hit and the Olympics were postponed, I was super lost. You know, I didn't know if I wanted to commit to another whole year of training. It is a big time commitment. And so I took a step back from swimming, took a couple months off, just kind of mentally reset myself. And I think that helped a lot. When I got back in the water, at first it felt like I was forcing myself to, but I knew I really wanted to go to the Olympics. And so just kind of threw myself into it. At the end of the day, I think it's, it's the people around you that make the experiences worthwhile. And for me, it was my teammates that kind of brought me back into the sport. I've been representing Yemen for the past five and a half years. One thing that I'm super proud of is the Arab Championships. And there, I won two golds and one silver, which was a huge achievement for Yemen swimming. Over the years, I've collected a lot of trinkets from swimming. And so this is one that I really like. Uh, this was my Olympic ID. I collected a lot of pins, and we can trade them with people at various places within the athlete village. So, how's my experience in Tokyo? Super cool. It's the pinnacle of this sport. It was like a dream come true. I was super stoked to see Michael Phelps and I said, yo, Michael, go blue. And he came up to me and uh, we took a photo together and it was, it was really cool. He's the guy I looked up to so much growing up. Most of all, like Yemeni people have been so supportive of me and I'm so appreciative of that. You know, in my 200 meter freestyle, that was my first race in the meet and a lot of Yemeni people messaged me saying, hey, that was a great race, like good luck in your next one. And I think it was because of that support that I was able to win my next race. There's a lot of things that I get, get excited about. I am in a very exciting time because I'm transitioning from my professional swimming career to my professional work career. In the past year, I've developed a really deep passion for advertising. So I'm moving to Brooklyn next month. I'm super stoked about that. And I'd one day like to see commercials and billboards that I've created, uh, maybe in Times Square. That's super exciting to me. I'm trying to get more into books and I just started one, but I'm already like loving it. It's called The, the, the Tanning of America by Steve Stout. He's actually the CEO of my agency. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of like background research on how my agency came to be. Advertising is a really cool avenue, I think that I can take my talents. And I hope to be somewhere where I'm working in something that I really love. Like I'd love to do things where I'm more hands-on with things, whether it's like building stuff or like making art. Like that's always been something that kind of excites me. I, I'm always like, my mind is going in so many different directions. I kind of want to pursue them all. What advice I would give to a current student? Find and make friends with people who are just as excited to try new things as you. I think the best way to learn, grow, and develop passions is to immerse yourself in them. And you have to find other people who are willing to jump right into things with you.